Hi everyone, Feedy Hero here, and welcome to another build video that I've got to show for you for today. Today, we have another Titan build, which is something different than normal. Instead of creating a super OP build like most people, or a wacky setup, capable of causing a lot of mayhem in the Crucible, we're going to create a near infinite ballistic slam setup, which will feed into you doing it as many times as you wish in both PvP and PvE, while also feeding into your super and generally rinse and repeat. Just like an endless wave of meteors falling from the sky, you will be leading the charge, and most likely be the final one to stand, and if you're really lucky, you may be able to one-shot a lot of players via ballistic slams, if you catch them off guard and grouped. Through the setup, you will be making full use of ballistic slams, Monte Carlo, Simpliceps, and both intelligence and strength mods to feed back into your build, and provide you with this unique setup. So first things first, let's start off with the subclass, which will be the Killer of the Missile subclass, which will allow us access to Thundercrash, Ballistic Slam, Impact Conversion, and generally anything else that will be all handy for us. This subclass, when combined with the Monte Carlo, will allow you to do your slams as many times as you wish, but not straight away, as there are a few things we'll need to cover first. Ballistic Slams, when active, will allow us while in the air to slam straight down into the ground and will allow us to damage and knock back anyone that's in the vicinity of us. And Impact Conversion gives back super energy upon how many enemies we hit at the same time, so with the two combined, will allow you to build into your main super, pretty simple and straightforward. Now the issue with this subclass is that using your ballistic slams upon enemies to get your super energy isn't as effective on its own as I thought it would be, especially if your stats aren't focused in the right areas. Plus, the knockback upon your ballistic slams won't always work in your favour. In fact, if they get knocked back too far where you can't use your SMG, your shotgun or even your melee, then you're going to end up dead. But this is only true in PvP. Don't worry about this in PvE. This doesn't mean you can't use this build how it is though, you can still use it even if you're a new light player. It just means that it won't be as effective as you would wish it to be like in the video. But nonetheless, I'll provide you with some alternatives. These are what we'll be highly using and what you should be using as well. At the same time, make sure your jump is a strafe lift as it will give you a strong pull upwards so that you can get in the air quickly and also allow you to manoeuvre much quickly in the air as well to the point of allowing you to rush to either A, B or C point if you're playing control in PvP. Or, if that's not your thing, it will allow you to basically evade danger mid-air much more quickly. Your grenades are down to you, as you won't be using them as much compared to most of my other builds, but either pulse or flashbang grenades are your best choice. If you choose flashbang, make sure you play and master it first, as it can be very destructive in the right hands and let you easy kill with the setup or else you'll flashbang yourself, which is 90% of the times my case. Now for the weapons, you will be making full use of the Monte Carlo for your exotic perk, and then secondary, I recommend you pick a shotgun for the close quarter fighting. Your heavy is down to you, but a grenade launcher, machine gun, or even a rocket launcher can be suitable. Now the Monte Carlo was a D1 exotic weapon, which has now made its return, and thankfully it still works as great as it did back then. This weapon has a very powerful exotic perk called the Monte Carlo Method, which states doing damage with the weapon reduces your melee cooldown, and upon kills, has a chance to fully recharge your melee. Now, let's take a look at this. A perk that not only rewards your melee energy back from just damaging enemies, but also a chance to reward you a full melee charge back upon a kill. That, and the fact that it has 43 rounds in the magazine, which is enough on its own to fully give you back a full melee charge, and the extra juicy fact that it has another perk called Markov Chain, which grants a damage increase for your weapon upon melee or weapon kills, and stacks to 5 as well. This is a melee guardian's wet dream of a weapon, whether you're a hunter, a warlock or a titan. With the right setup for any guardian class, you can create some unique melee builds with different usages and such. And this is where this weapon comes in the build. The Monte Carlo will recharge your ballistic slam at a very considerable rate as long as you either hit or kill your target, but this alone is still not enough. Oh no. Let's take a look at the stats now. Stat wise, our mobility, resilience, recovery and intelligence are balanced, so that we can have a flexible build. Our grenades are on the lower end, which once again isn't that much of an issue, as we won't be relying on them so much while our strength stat is around 73 for quicker melee regeneration at 41 seconds. 41 to 45 seconds. I've placed my melee quite high, as although I do have the Monte Carlo to feedback melee energy into my melees, 
when I'm not firing back at anyone, or if I don't find anyone in PvP for example, it recharges quite slow, at around 40-50% to stat level, or anything below that. The thing is, if you want your Ballistic Slams nearly all the time, and want it to feed back into your super, then you need to at least get it around 70 plus, or else it won't work. Unless you're going to be using this in PvE, or if you're going to be specking into a balanced out intelligence stat, which overall may work out well for you if you're happy to make your few sacrifices in your other stats, this here alone is what makes the build work with Monte Carlo. So like I said, there's always room for flexibility, it's just that I recommend that you play around with it first, see what melds with you best, and then go with that. For armor, you will need the Symphoseps, as they will increase our melee launcher range, which will be coming in handy for our Ballistic Slam, and melee damage when we get surrounded. Now here's the thing, the Symphoseps are very powerful on their own, but even more powerful when against 3 plus enemies within your Venicity, as will increase your melee damage. In PvE that's fine and dandy, but in PvP, it can allow you to one shot any player. Take a look at this clip here. Two for one. Yes! Three down! That right there is the magic of the Symphoseps when combined with Ballistic Slam. Once this perk activates, anyone in his Venicity while it's active will be one-shotted by it, as if you had a mini Thundercrash super working. But this only works if, and I mean if, you have 3 plus enemy players or enemies around you. So you can have a little fun with this one if you're feeling a bit brave. All of the other armors now are more or less what you have for covering your stats and fitting in the appropriate mods, so don't worry if you don't have the same things as me. Overall, the following mods attached to my gear are as shown. Head, Strength and Scatter Projectile mod. Arm, Intelligence mod. Chest, Strength and Unflinching Auto Rifle mod. Leg, Recovery mod. Titan Mark, Distribution times 2 mod. Now with everything compiled, you can either A, test the build out in Tribute Hall to see how it works, or B, take my word and try out in PvE and PvP content. I recommend first to test your setup in Tribute Hall, so that you can see your end results and see whether the build that I've got basically plays into your playstyle, and if not, you can see where you need to improve on from there and make adjustments here and there. From my background clip, you can see that testing for mini regeneration via Monte Carlo and base that go up extremely well to the point of being able to slam, regenerate, slam, and repeat till I get my super and then genuine rinse and repeat. The mini stat as well when regenerating on its own goes up quite quickly as well, so while passive at least I know my mini will be freely available within a few seconds and not minutes. Remember, we can increase our stat to 100 if we wish for around a 30 second regen time, which is a hell of a lot better, but may pose a risk in supporting our other stats. The Symphoseps as well work accordingly as to how they're designed, and will one shot most red to mid tier yellow majors you face and can proc as many times as you wish as long as you have familiar ability available, and if you're generally surrounded. In PvE, you can pretty much do this for as many times as you wish, as long as the enemies keep flowing, which for those that play Gambit, Strikes, Forges, or Escalation Protocol, will come in handy if you're looking for something fun and dumb. In PvP, it's 50-50. You can catch a lot of people out by hanging in the air and then swoop down to catch them off guard, and thus kill them in one shot if they're low on health or finish them via your melee or weaponry, it's up to you. On the other hand, if you do this too many times, most players will catch you out and even look out for you, as they know how a well placed ballistic slam can wipe out a whole team out in one shot. Well, most of them, sometimes most players just tend to hold back and actually try to support their teammates, which 9 times out of 10, if you're not aware of that, then you will get taken out a lot and then it basically means that you will have to change up your playstyle in most matches. So if that does become a case, here's a tip. Play aggressive, but smart. Make sure that when you're going to use your Ballistic Slam, that you know exactly where your exit points are if you are to get surrounded from a failed attempt, and also make sure that you have your secondary out and ready the moment you slam, as you may not be able to finish most players off via melee. So if you have your shotgun available, then you can clean up and keep moving. And generally, there you have it, a simple and easy to put together ballistic slam build 
that will allow you to blitz slam your way to victory. Remember, you can use this setup with your Warlock Hunter as well, and I will down the line do a mini build around them as well. But honestly, if you're not playing as a Titan, then are you really playing the game at all? I'm just kidding of course, or am I? I'll leave that up to you guys to think. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub. And also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content if you dig that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys in the next one.